All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So this week we are going to be looking at the remainder of the Wind Witches. We got the level one tutor monster and we got the synchro monster. Now I know there's a couple of new cards that uh, popped up over the weekend that I could do go ahead and do a review of. Uh, that new Dark Magician Girl Lady Monster, I'll definitely be reviewing her. Uh, but I probably won't be reviewing the Ancient Gear Continuous spell because I'm playing Ancient Gear, so, you know, I generally don't like to review cards that are current in the decks so are currently on Daily Duel, so I probably won't be reviewing that. Maybe I'll throw it in the deck, maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm not, I'm still iffy on how I feel about that card, but you're not wondering how I feel about that card, you're wondering how I feel about this card. So this is Wind Witch Snow Bell, so it's like, Snow Bell and Ice Bell and Winter Bell and it's just like okay so what's next like Tundra Bell Arctic Bell like I get it I get it like y y you're your icy wind but the way you think is you're not water you know you're not uh, you're wind so I guess the wind is really cold that uh it's like a snowstorm I guess but uh yeah this card right here this card right here is going to be some annoying shit coming up soon so. Uh, Wind Witch Snow Bell is a spellcaster tuner effect monster level 1, 100 attack, 100 defense. You don't care about the stats, you really don't, because it's the effects that makes it just like, wow, so good. Uh, if the only monsters you control are two or more wind monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Yeah, that that is right, that is right. So, literally, you go special summon Terra Top, search for Takatom board, special summon Takatom board, special summon this. So, the setup is just so easy, but the second effect is great too. A wind. Synchro monster that is used to synchro summon this card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect. Yes, that is right. You cannot just simply throw a Regeki at a damn Crystal Mask. I mean, of course, Crystal Mask is very difficult to deal with, but, you know, you have the instruction cards like a Regeki or something, you, you throw it at it, you blow it out, awesome. But, if this was used as synchro show, that monster can't be destroyed by card effect. So, that's the last thing you need to do is deal with, is freaking... Dealing with the Christmas Mask, I can't be sure of That is some bullshit, because you're going to negate all my monster effects, and if I'm battling you, level 5 or higher, then you gain my attack, and I can't destroy you by card effect. It's just like, damn, you know, the struggle is real. But you bust it out so easily with this first effect. Literally, you open up with this and a Takatom board, you got it, you know? You special summon, search Takatom, uh, I mean, Teratops, special summon Teratops, search Takatom board, special summon Takatom board, special summon this, Takatom board, tribute itself off, summon uh, Red Eye Dice, Red Eye Dice, make the Terra Top a level 6, go into Clear Wing, go into Crystal Math. Bam. It, it's just that simple. And it's really great, too. Like, I could possibly see, you know, uh, Speedroids with throwing in with a little bit of Wind Witch just thrown in uh, into the deck. It's because of how easy it is, you know. The other Wind Witch that we looked at last time, you know, uh, Ice Bell, she combos off with it. Snow Bell combos off with it. The Terra Top, the Takatom Boy, the, you know, the, the Speedroids were already, like, really good at doing their job, but this just adds even more consistency to their synchro plays. That it, it, they're just going to jump you. They're going to jump you with these powerful ass wind monsters that are really strong synchro monsters. And, of course, it'll be mostly Crystal Meth, but it could be other things as well. I mean, you could even throw this in Dragoonities, you know. Dragoonities are wind as well, so... Uh, what, you can, like... Uh have like a phalanx and you know ducks phalanx uh summon it back and then special summon this you know and the thing is there's no restrictions on this card there is none at all it just very much says you control two win more wind monsters special summon this card from your hand and the wind monster secret summon for this can't be short conflict it doesn't say well you can only special summon wind monster for the rest of the turn or you know you have to go into a wind synchro you don't even have to go into a wind synchro monster with this you don't it just, you get a bonus if you do, but you don't have to. And that in itself is just some powerful shit too, you know? So, overall, just a really great card. And I'm, I'm interested to see what the Wind Witches do. I don't think that they're, too, they're too powerful on their own. They're a little bit too gimmicky with their Burnham. Like I said, well, on Wednesday, we'll be looking at their Synchro Monster. But uh, when you combine them with Speed Roids and just the fact that Crystal Meth is a thing, it's just ridiculous, you know? It really is. So, anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say about uh, Snowbell. Not much to say. She's just a really great level 1 uh, wind tuner monster who gives you bonuses for playing with some wind monsters. So, so tell me what you guys think about Wind Witch Snowbell in the comments below. And just, you know, the Wind Witches plus the Speedroids in general. Because I want to be looking at the Zinker Monster on uh, Wednesday. So, look forward to that. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for support. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, people.